Saturday, December 5th, 2020. Today I face my toughest task yet of this college football season. I stare across the field and see a familiar adversary in a heavily favored Alabama. And while our ranks are depleted, our spirits are high. And Breaking news, Alabama head coach Nick Saban has been cleared to coach in the LSU game. Our spirits are medium-ish. We march off to face them on the field of competition with a full heart, knowing that as long as we have each other, we can do all. LSU wide receiver Terrace Marshall has opted out for the remainder of the 2020 season. That as long as we have whoever's left on the roster, and as long as our receivers don't deliberately fumble the ball before crossing the goal line, we cannot, uh, fail. Wait, before you go, I want to give you this. A tried and tested defensive coordinator who will guide you through the challenges of the modern SEC offense. Oh, <laughs> super. You said it best yourself. You'd beat them in recruiting. You'd beat them every time they see you. Roll Tide what? <laughs> I was just joking around about that one. They're not going to remember that, right? They can't remember that. Do you think they're going to remember Those that? words were so strong and so powerful that they are no doubt etched in the memories of every single player and coach on that Alabama team. Oh. They will write songs about the day LSU held the line against Alabama and their three Heisman-worthy offensive players. Three? Mac, Najee, and Devante. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. Well, there's your ride to the game. Farewell, my champion. Your chariot awaits to take you to the arena of glory. Are you sure you want to place bet for Alabama to cover versus LSU? I am still standing literally right here. This episode of SEC Shorts is brought to you by Renaissance Bank, the bank that understands you. Learn more at renaissancebank.com.